Many years ago, the Sakaryapura dairy had been run by the men of the village, but they had taken to adulterating the milk for short-term gains, and eventually the dairy had to be shut down. Without any other source of income, the villagers fell into despair. This situation lasted until five years ago, when the women decided it was time to take the matter into their own hands. In a country where traditional designs have been handed down by master craftsmen to their children for centuries, professional designers represent the new face of Indian jewellery. Joginder Singh, the Sarpanch, or headman of Palahi village, is fiercely proud of his heritage. These days, however, he has something more to be proud of. Palahi was recently declared a model village by the government of India, an example to be followed by all other villages in the country. Mohan is an orchid cultivator, just like his father and his grandfather. After studying at the Royal Horticultural Society in London and researching orchid cultivation in South Africa, Mohan came back to his native Sikkim to take over his father's business. Later in the day, he will attend the inauguration of the annual flower show in Gantok where he will display his unique collection of rare and exotic species of orchids. Some distance from the festivities, on the 11th hole of the Lucknow Golf Club course, Vijay Kumar is busy playing his daily game. Vijay Kumar is no ordinary golfer. The recipient of a number of national and international trophies and awards, he is one of the leading professional golf players in India. What makes him truly unique, however, is not his position at the top of the Indian golf circuit, but the journey that took him there. Having studied in the village school only until she was 15 years of age, it's difficult to imagine Ambika as the president of a bank, but that's exactly what she is. These women are all part of the savings and micro-credit bank of their village, and Ambika is their elected leader. Established in 1990, the MGR school was set up for the education and rehabilitation of speech and hearing impaired children. What makes this school truly unique is that all facilities are absolutely free. With 223 students, 75 of whom call this building home, this school provides opportunities and a good education to those who could not otherwise have afforded it. Dr. Pradeep Sinha is an integral part of the CDAC team and is personally responsible for the Param 10,000 on a day-to-day -day basis. An internationally acclaimed scientist, Dr. Sinha is immensely proud of the fact that the Param 10,000 is available at almost one-sixth the price of other supercomputers in the world. Established by Kamila Tayabji in 1968, the Women's India Trust, or WIT, has been helping the needy and unskilled women in Mumbai for decades. Over the years, WIT has taken many a disadvantaged woman under its wing and sent out a skilled professional into the marketplace. <laughs> 